when people think of home, you know, that, that warm, opulent sensation of comfort, be it in your dreams or in person, what really is it that creates that feeling? I've never really had it or understood what it meant, but I've always searched for it frantically. I've been actively tracing my dreams all my life, be it playing football or golf, skateboarding or the guitar as a child. I've always taken my goals so seriously. When I started playing basketball at 13 years old, I just was obsessed with it, just training for up to 9 hours per day sometimes, until 3 years later at the age of 16, I left my country and everything I'd ever known to pursue my dreams of playing basketball in America. I thought for sure I'd find home there, but I never found myself fitting in or finding peace. The first time I returned to England two years later for a short visit, I, suddenly I felt like an outsider in my own country. When I entered university and decided I wanted to study abroad in Japan, I spent every single hour, every single minute of every single day that I could studying Japanese. You know, like for any person, there were obstacles. I spent my second year of university homeless and then the third year I found out that I had cancer. The few friends that I had just seemed to completely disappear when I needed them most. So I still spent every second of time I had every day and night still pushing to improve my Japanese. It was the coldest, loneliest and most depressing time of my entire life. I hadn't found home. I hated that place passionately. もう今日なんかごめんなさいみたいな。ごめんなさい。ごめんなさい。誕生日だからごめんなさい。みんな謝る。みんな謝る日。謝る日。はい。謝る会。謝る大会だ。謝る大会。謝る大会。でもね、実
762 Walking these empty streets. It's amazing how alone you can be in a place with so many people. So I'd, uh, I'd get up very early and sort of enjoy some time alone cooking breakfast before studies begin. Since I took all my classes in Japanese and had to speak it at work, when I was alone in my room, I decided to combat my loneliness with my passion for learning languages. So as that love deepened immensely, uh, I began studying several new ones such as French, Chinese, Hindi, Norwegian, Swahili, Arabic. I was pretty much devoting all of my waking hours to, to learning. It's pretty incredible what you can accomplish when you're spending nine or even ten hours a day sometimes just completely devoted to learning. There were times I would just sit in that room all day, from morning to evening, just studying alone. So what exactly have I been doing wrong? Why haven't I found that home yet? I've realized that for me, it's all about people. People who have the ability to enrich your life without bounds or limits. You can live in a dull city that nobody's heard of, or one of the most famous and beautiful cities in the world like Kyoto. But without that strong feeling of human compassion, laughter, love, I found it's very difficult to be happy. I've put every ounce of energy in my body and soul throughout a majority of my life into chasing my dreams of vengeance, always thinking that that's what would make me happy. To an extent, I suppose that could be true. Achieving your dreams may very well hold a key to some form of happiness. But if you have no home to enjoy your success, no loved ones to laugh with and share your experiences that led you there, then what's it all worth? What's the meaning of any of it? My dream. Sucked into the sky Never had a chance To say goodbye <laughs> I can see the facts I can see the facts I can who you are But now I understand Now I know who I am Привет, меня зовут Робин, очень приятно Marhaban, ismi Robin Habari, Mimini Robin. Nina Furaha Kukutana na Wewe. Buongiorno, sono Robin, piacere. Namaste, Mira Nam Robin Hai. Absimirkar Kushikwe. Ya ich heter Robin McPherson. Ya herbaru studiert noch i vier Uker, so ich kann ich sehen, wenn ich mich erinnere. So lang zu lecker heute, wo ich gläder mich, dass ich verstehe, um noch Kultur und Sampen. Sind ich finde ich Standard noch, ich kann nicht verwandt sein, ich bin nur in der Kupfer. Uh, me niaise fram tu tutor dingen. Uh, en realidad el español fue mi primer amor con los idiomas extranjeros. Uh, y yo asocio el español con muchas buenas recuerdos y, y cuando lo hablo me siento tan tan vivo. Uh, pero por desgracia, uh, yo no he hablado español desde que estuve en México hace dos años. Y, y entonces, después de no hablarlo por dos años y, y por estudiar muchas lenguas diferentes, mi español se puso inactivo. Uh, mi... Yo pienso que, ya, yeah, eh, pero casi he perdido el acento completamente <ríe> y yo pienso que mi, mi pronunciación suena medio raro por concentrar mucho en el, las otras lenguas uh, recientemente y también me siento que yo, uh, me siento que se me perdió mi, mi, la personalidad española porque usualmente con cada lengua nueva yo adopto una personalidad un poco diferente. Um, pero so, sobre todo sobre todo sé que va a regresar uh, rápidamente porque a uh, regresar a los Estados Unidos yo quiero hablar en español diariamente uh, y sur la même ma prochaine langue uh, le français uh, j'aime énormément énormément la langue française uh, et pas seulement à cause des les, les sentiments que crée les beaux sons mais mais parce que uh, beaucoup de mes plus plus beaux souvenirs viennent des, des vacances que j'ai passées avec mon père en France uh, quand j'étais enfant Euh, New Zealand chaque année pendant environ deux semaines euh, mais malheureusement je n'avais pas d'intérêt pour les langues étrangères à l'époque et d'ailleurs euh, je n'apprends le français depuis que récemment que depuis récemment <rire> euh, 
J'ai étudié le français à l'université pendant un semestre à l'automne 2012, mais, mais j'ai trouvé la classe très ennuyeuse et donc je n'ai pas beaucoup appris. Euh, ensuite, euh, j'ai commencé à apprendre par moi-même le français euh, l'été dernier, alors que mes études du japonais étaient, étaient plus importantes. Et euh, j'ai un peu progressé euh, jusqu'à être en mesure de comprendre un petit peu, mais euh, j'ai raté complètement quand je suis arrivé au Japon en juillet. Euh, et enfin, euh, j'ai continué à euh, apprendre par moi-même le français euh, l'octobre dernier et j'ai vraiment euh, appris presque tout mon français depuis lors euh, dans les, les cinq derniers mois. Et voilà. Et je suis le plus grand de l'école 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 あの、それからどうしてしたかって勉強するためにあの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、
Language is the blood of soul into which thoughts run and out of which they grow. I believe this to be true not only for the present but for the past too. The ideas and experiences of all those who came before us are locked tightly into those languages that they spoke and the cultures that were built up around them. I want to make it clear that I'm not trying to fool anybody. I know I'm not some amazing, impressive polyglot right now. I've shown that there are various languages I can speak very basically of some phrases, and there are some which I know better than that, but I know I make mistakes in all of them, and I may not be as good as the next learner. But that's not what's important to me. It's not the point. In my opinion, the point of learning foreign languages is not to compete with your peers. The point of learning foreign languages is to facilitate a much deeper and richer level of communication that could not be achieved without it. It's to facilitate understanding, authenticity, and clarity of ideas. It's really all about people. Home, and above all, it's about happiness. And that's what I hope to find for myself and inspire in as many people as I may come across on my journey. I won't be able to finish my study abroad experience. I have to leave behind everything that I completely devoted three years of my life to. But looking back though, by the standards that I just stated, I didn't fail at all. Throughout the hard times, I found some of the happiest moments of my entire life. And I also feel like just maybe I created the same for a few other people too. Thank you. Video. <laughs> また。また。はい、お疲れ様です。はい、じゃあ。明日から。そう。うん。そう、楽しかった。そう、楽しかった。ありがとうございます。